right, guys, it's Monday. That means we got team of the week. In the week three top performance, we got Shady. 17 carries, 110 rushing yards, two TDs, and Jamie Collins, 14 tackles, one pick, and one pass breakup. We also have some other big contributors. T.Y. Hilton, Everson Griffin, Marcus Peters, Terrell Pryors, my guy, and Zachary Orr. I'm most excited for probably Terrell Pryors and probably Everson Griffin. Griffin, a DN with a lot of speed. First up, Shady, 90 overall, 91 speed, 88 carry, 94 ball carry, 95 juke move, 65 truck, and 93 elusiveness. Looking pretty good, man. Compared to AP, the free AP, he's better. Compared to DeMarco, honestly, he has plus one speed. No, plus two speed on DeMarco. Okay, slightly lesser carrying, but overall pretty BC card. 95 juke, that's plus 10 better than DeMarco. This Shady's looking like a beast. Impacts for a limited time. We got Jamie Collins, 89 overall, 84 speed, 90 tackle pursuit, 88 play rec, 86 hit power, and 81 Block shit. Jamie Collins, man, a very versatile linebacker, good in coverage, solid tackler, 86 hit power. He doesn't pack just the biggest punch, but 86 is enough to get some pop and maybe knock a ball out or two. Rocking that coverage linebacker chemistry as well. This was a great week of football, man. Let's check out the rest of the team of the week. See who all we got. Check out that TP, that Everson Griffin. Everson Griffin, I'm guessing maybe 87 speed at defensive end. He gets crazy speed ratings. Okay, I reached 82 speed, 82 block shit, 84 tackle, 92 finesse move, or power move better yet, 80 finesse move, and 84 play rank. Once again, though, 82 speed off that end. In this game, some receivers, cornerbacks, barely got 82 speed, so that's pretty amazing. Terrell Pryor, my budget squad legend. Check him out. 81 overall, 87 speed, 6'4". I love the hype, baby. 89 spectacular catch, 83 release, and 76 route running. Route running quarterback to wide receiver doesn't run the crispest routes but yo man his catching is legit in real life only at 82 in the game though he had a 130 yard yard week but his catching is still kind of poop spectacular catch is nice though tp is cool man definitely a fun target quickly check out zachary or 34 middle linebacker 82 speed 85 hit power 84 block shed and here's a look at marcus peters 88 speed 89 excel 81 catch 81 zone and 89 press all right Nice, solid batch of team of the weeks. I like him, man. Now, finally, got to talk with Cowboys, baby. Dallas finally getting a win at home. I should have went to that game, and I didn't know that it had been damn near a year drought since the Cowboys won a game. I did not know that, man. We won one home game all year last year, and ever since then, since Roma went down, we were ass out, man. But, yo, my Cowboys, I'm going to get it out the way fast for you guys. They're looking nice. Zeke, Zeke looked pretty good yesterday. Now, we'll say this, man. I don't know why the Cowboys ran him so much. You know, in the fourth quarter, fourth quarter, we pretty much dominated that game. That game was all but done with. The Cowboys are still running Zeke, and we've seen how injuries can affect this team and other teams. This isn't the first year of the NFL. Why in the world were the Cowboys running Zeke for, for stat padding? Like, I, I did not get that one bit, not one bit. I mean, you got bench players. Why not put in the backups? Like, I know in the NBA, they have garbage time. NBA loves their garbage time. Both teams put in the bench players. Pretty much call it the game. NFL, it's not really like that. But even them and the Cowboys, I would have put in Lance Dunbar. I would have put in somebody other than Zeke. We signed Morris. I would have let Morris get some of those gritty, dirty yards. I mean, the Cow Tune Cowboys crazy running Zeke that much that late in the game. Like, Zeke was hurling dudes with, like, six minutes left in the game. It's cute. It's a nice highlight. But let somebody put their helmet on your knee. Let somebody fuck up your ACL. Let somebody fuck up your fucking patella. You're going to be looking dumb as fuck doing hurdles. Six seconds left. Finally got an elite. And it's the Emmett Smith collectible. Another Cowboys shout out. Eagles, man. Eagles for Steelers. Boy. Boy, boy, boy. A lot of people are starting to recognize that Wentz is the truth. Wentz got injured in the uh, preseason. And I kind of joke, oh, he's a bust. But I'm telling you guys, I saw his first game against the Browns. I know the Browns are ass. Wentz looks so good that game, and he's looked good every other week. Rams fans, how you feel, baby? You guys had the number one pick. You needed a quarterback, and I don't even know if he starts. You guys, you guys might have drafted one of the worst quarterbacks in the draft. Wentz is looking amazing. Dak is looking amazing. I think Dak had a passing touchdown to Dez, and he might have had another touchdown too, man. Dak looked great. Dak looked great, man. Another big matchup this week as I clean out my binder. Freaking Redskins versus the freaking uh, the freaking Giants. That was a pretty interesting matchup. Odell versus Norman. Norman dropped the pick. You could say that Norman honestly shut Odell down for half that game, but in the second half, Odell had a huge second half. He was heating up too, but I forgot what happened. I think Eli threw a pick. Yeah, 
Eli threw a pick. Redskins had a nasty one-handed pick when they were driving in the red zone. And that kind of derailed that drive. But Odell was looking good. Norman, to me, he's still playing some great football. And it's crazy. Some people like to slight Norman and be like, oh, he has safety help. Why would he not have safety help on Odell Beckham? Odell Beckham is on record pace. He's, he's, he, he's putting up record numbers, right? He could go down as one of the best to ever do it. Why in the world would he not have safety help on him? That doesn't even make sense. I'm not a Redskins fan in the least bit. I'm not really a Norman fan in the least bit. I ain't got nothing against the guy, but saying, oh, he had safety help, it's like the dumbest shit I've ever heard. Why wouldn't you have safety help on an all-time player? He's putting up all-time great numbers, baby. Shout out to Aldell and Norman. Good game. Always a fun matchup to watch. Now, unfortunately, those were all the games I watched this week, man. I can only watch so much football. Then I don't got red zone or Sunday ticket. I probably need to scoop. Probably need to scoop my Panthers. My Panthers lost, man. Panthers lost. I forgot who they played. Who did they play? The Vikings. Yo, yeah, the Vikings. The Vikings defense put a hurt on the Panthers. That one kind of surprised me. The Bills. Secondary had four interceptions yesterday. Big time play by that secondary. And I guess that's about it, guys. I, I, I guess that's about it when it comes to football talk. Busting down these packs. I don't see much in the packs, man. Did get that Emmitt Smith collectible. Maybe I should have pulled the All-Pro packs. All-Pro packs were up today. I kind of wanted to pull them, but the last time I pulled all- Oh, Brady! Goat alert! Hello! How you doing? What up, Brady? The last time I pulled all pro packs, though, I feel like I got burnt. Like, I got a bad STD last time I pulled them. Like, I don't know. Like, I pulled those bad boys. Super secret. Rifty bundle. Nobody else is pulling it. And it was still trash. So I had to- I had to chill out. I had to step back. I had to dodge. I had to juke around. That was all pro packs today, baby. But, but we got Brady. That's a pretty beastly pickup. And we got another elite right here. Banger! It's a Reggie Nelson collectible. I so hate, I so hate the, uh, man, the flashback program this year. I almost want to go up on a mini mutt rant one of these days, but I don't really do, I guess, rants. Maybe one day if I stream. I, oh, I so want to stream so soon, but I don't know. I just haven't streamed, but I don't know. I so hate that flashback program. Or, or just how many collectibles is in it and how it's set up this year, but I guess I'll save that rant for another video. Gonna pull a few more packs. See if we can clutch out another elite. We got three elites, and we might have got a dinger and freaking Brady. Brady might be a 100k pool still. Oh, that's the binder. Okay, guess that's where we'll stop at. But Brady was a 100k pool, I know, a few weeks ago. He might still be like a 60k pool, 60k pickup. Not that bad. Quickly, let's check the price of Brady. See what the Golden Boy is going for. Going for 60k. All right, that's not that bad. 61k, I would take it. Quickly in the comments, let me know who you think might deserve an outsider, man. I'm thinking Zeke might get one. Zeke had a 100-yard game. Dak had a good game, too. Dak just got one, though, and I feel like Zeke, Zeke's gonna have more game. Like, Zeke's gonna have a better game. Zeke, that was just, that was just scratching the top, you know? I think, I think Zeke, they could honestly hold off on Zeke and maybe give him a BC card later on in the year, but uh, I think Zeke could get one. Norman, honestly, should have got one based off of last week. Probably won't get one based off this week. Odell, if they won, could have been a contender. Carson Wentz, a lot of guys been talking about him. Maybe he'll get one. I don't know. Let me know what's up in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next one. Quickly, if you want to know, what's the bundle topper, Berg? Should I get it? Is it worth getting? The topper is a team is a team of the week item. Okay, so the topper isn't really that great. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, boys. Peace. <laughs>